हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू मैथमेटिक्स क्लास दिस इज प्रकाश बनकर फ्रॉम तुंगा डिग्री कॉलेज जमकंडी इन दिस क्लास लेट अस डिस्कस सम मोर एग्जांपल्स ऑन ग्रुप्स सो हियर द फर्स्ट एग्जांपल इज शो दैट द सेट ऑफ रियल नंबर्स इज ए ग्रुप अंडर एडिशन सो हियर द गिवन सेट इज द सेट ऑफ रियल नंबर्स कैपिटल आर एंड द बाइनरी ऑपरेशन इज addition so here r is the set of real numbers and addition is the binary operation so here we need to prove that the set capital r is the group under addition so the first law is closer law so here we know that the sum of any two real numbers is again a real number so therefore let us consider the two real numbers x and y for all x comma y belongs to r it implies that x plus y belongs to r since the sum of any two real numbers is again a real number so therefore for all x comma y belongs to r it implies that x plus y belongs to r so therefore closer law satisfied and the second one is associative law so here whatever the given set of numbers is there if the binary operation is addition then it follows associative law so therefore for all x y z belongs to the set of real numbers it implies x plus y plus z equal to x plus y plus z so therefore for any real numbers the binary operation is addition then the addition is always associative so therefore associative law satisfied for the set of real numbers capital r and the third one is identity law here we know that if the binary operation is addition then zero will be the identity element and also here the given set is the set of real numbers and zero is also a real number hence that zero belongs to r so therefore identity law will satisfy for the given set of real numbers so here for addition zero is the identity element and zero belongs to r so therefore for all x belongs to r there exist zero belongs to r such that zero plus x is equal to x plus zero is equal to x means there is no change in the quantity of x and it remains as it is by adding 0 to x so therefore 0 is the identity element for the set of real numbers therefore 0 is the identity element for the set of real numbers capital r so therefore identity law also satisfied then the fourth one is inverse law so here since the binary operation is addition then the inverses will be the negative numbers of positive one so here if you consider the positive x then negative x will be the inverse of that and if you consider the negative x then plus x is the inverse of that minus x so therefore here for all x belongs to capital r for every real number x there exist minus x belongs to r because 
if x is a real number then minus x is also a real number such that such that x plus minus x is equal to minus x plus x is equal to 0 and this 0 is the identity element for r. So, therefore, if you are adding that minus x to plus x or x to minus x the result is 0 which is the identity element of capital R. So, therefore, inverse law satisfied. Therefore, inverse law satisfied. So, here we have to say that the inverse law is satisfying for the given set of numbers if this inverse of the element belongs to the given set of numbers. So, here x belongs to r then inverse of this is minus x that is also in r. If these two conditions are true means for x belongs to r minus x must be in r then only that inverse law will satisfy. If this minus x is not in r then inverse law will not satisfy for the given set of numbers. So, therefore, inverse law satisfied hence all the four laws satisfied for r therefore, r plus is a group. So, it is our conclusion. So, if all the four laws satisfied for the given set of numbers then we can say that that set is a group. So, here closure law satisfied, associative law satisfied, identity law satisfied and also inverse law satisfied. So, therefore, that capital R is a group under addition. The next example is show that the set of non-zero real numbers is a group under multiplication. So, in the previous example it was the set of real numbers and the binary operation was addition, but here the given set is non-zero real numbers means the set of real numbers except 0 and the binary operation is multiplication. So, therefore, the set will be like this r minus 0 the set of real numbers except the element 0 then only that set will be the set of non-zero real numbers. So, let us prove this example. So, here the first law that is closure law. So, here let us consider x and y belongs to that r minus 0 means non-zero real numbers. It implies that x is not equal to 0, y is not equal to 0 because these x and y belongs to the set of non-zero real numbers hence they must be non-zero. So, now the binary operation is multiplication. So, it implies that x into y is also in the set r minus 0. So, means the product of any two non-zero real numbers is again non-zero. So, therefore, x into y belongs to r minus 0. Therefore, closer law satisfied. Closer law satisfied. Then second law is associative law. So, let x, y, z be the three non-zero real numbers. Then here the binary operation is multiplication and we know that multiplication will follow the associative property. So, therefore, it implies x into y into z is equal to x into y into z. So, therefore, this is the associative law for multiplication. Hence, that associative law satisfied for the set of real numbers capital R. Now, the third one is identity law. 
So, if the binary operation is addition, then 0 is the identity element for that given set and if the binary operation is multiplication, then the identity element will be is equal to 1 because if you multiply any number by 1, then the product will be the number itself means the product will not change if you multiply any number by 1. So, therefore, that one will be the identity element for multiplication. So, therefore, for multiplication 1 is the identity element and 1 belongs to the given set r minus 0 because 1 is the non-zero real number. So, therefore, 1 belongs to r minus 0. Now, for all x belongs to r minus 0, there exists 1 belongs to r minus 0 such that x into 1 is equal to 1 into x equal to the element x itself. Therefore, 1 is the identity element. Hence, identity law satisfied. Then the last one is inverse law. So, if the binary operation is addition, then the inverse of plus x will be equal to minus x. But in case of multiplication, here the inverses will be different. So, if x is the element belongs to r minus 0, then what will be the multiplicative inverse of x here? If you multiply x by any number, then the product must be equal to 1 because 1 is the identity element for the given set. So, therefore, for all x belongs to r minus 0, there exists 1 by x belongs to r minus 0 because if x is non-zero element, then 1 by x is also a non-zero element. So, therefore, 1 by x belongs to r minus 0. So, x belongs to r minus 0, there exists a real number 1 by x belongs to r minus 0 such that such that x into 1 by x equal to 1 by x into x is equal to 1 which is the identity element. Here in case of inverse law, the output must be the identity element of that set and in case of identity law, the output must be the, the element which we have considered previously. So, here we have considered x, then we are getting x as it is. So, therefore, that one is the identity element, but in case of inverse, the output must be equal to the identity element. So, therefore, x into 1 by x equal to 1 by x into x is equal to 1, hence inverse law satisfied because it is the arbitrary element x. Then for all x belongs to that non-zero real numbers, then 1 by x is also in the same set. So, therefore, inverse law, inverse law satisfied. Hence, all the four laws satisfied for the given set r minus 0, the set of non-zero real numbers. So, therefore, we can say that r minus 0 with the binary operation multiplication is a group. So, therefore, it is the way to write the conclusion for any given example. So, first we need to satisfy all the four laws which are necessary to prove the given set is a group and finally, we need to write the conclusion. So, here if the given set is in general, then we have to prove the result by using arbitrary elements. You can use A, B, C, 
or x, y, z like that. So therefore, it is the way to write the answer for the given examples.